also made, who do you think is going to win in the great contest of wars between the Anti-Defamation League and Elon Musk? Is a free speech going to win out or is an ethnic lobby going to win out? So, the ADL threatened they will lead an advertising boycott of Twitter if Elon Musk brings back Donald Trump. So, so far, Elon Musk is reassuring the ADL they're going to keep up their health and safety regimes. So it's kind of weird that uh, the ethnic lobby gets to set the standards of speech on social media. But uh, so far, the Anti-Defamation League has been very successful. Right, so, Elon Musk is not willing to go up against this behemoth. So far, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google, they all go along with what the Anti-Defamation League wants. Now, what makes the ADL so powerful? Well, it's very effectively run. They know how to exert pressure. They've accumulated moral capital, right, fighting defamation. Uh, who, who is not against defamation? And their powerful friends have a lot of money behind them. On the other hand, Donald Trump was elected president of the United States, so ADL doesn't have veto power over our political process. Sure, it seems like they have veto power of what we can say in the major social media companies. So we're having a walk here along the north end of the Manly Beach. But now with the growth of blockchain technology, all right, the ADL is unable to completely squash free speech online. We've got Odyssey and Rumble and Parler. We can still say what we want on our own websites. Pretty much say what you want on Odyssey. You can uh, largely say what you want on Rumble. So, We're doing, we're doing better as far as free speech live streaming now than two, three years ago. So how much will Elon Musk kowtow to what the ADL wants? How much will he really stand up for free speech? Will, will the economics permit? Something that, uh, say, is more subscription-based. Right, is it a subscription-based service may well allow for much more free speech. God, it feels so free here at the corner of the world. Smell the freedom. Okay guys, enter at your own risk here.
<laughs> Pretty scary. Hold my hand. There's light at the end of the tunnel. This is an onrushing creek wave. And I would not want to get stuck in there if there was a big wave. Here comes the big one. My dad would tell me about all the positive things from negative eons that come off the ocean.